Hey beloved, Krista Pettiford here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about choosing what matters. I take making um, choices, how we make choices and how our choices or lack thereof carry eternal value. And so if you're in a season where you God is calling you to reset, to get back to the feet of Jesus, to reclaim your time, to get undistracted. If you're going through a new beginning, you're, you're in a new season, you're in a difficult season, I encourage you to listen to this video with open eyes, ears, hearts, and hands. We talked about coming back to the feet of Jesus. We talked about dealing with your distractions. We talked last week about reclaiming your time. And now I want to talk about choosing what matters as a lifestyle. I've been sharing from the book of Luke and from my 28-day lifestyle reset workbook, which is free. And when I think about um, choosing what matters and resetting our life, a lifestyle is, I like to say, a rhythm or a routine or a set of standards or rules that somebody lives by. A group of people or a person lives by the things that they do, their habits and patterns and routine. And so when we are choosing something, we are making it a habit, a pattern, a routine, a rhythm, a lifestyle. It becomes a lifestyle, how we fashion our life in the way that we do things. And so when last week we talked about creating a daily routine, a weekly routine, a monthly routine, having a rhythm and a routine for your life, reclaiming your time. And so I want to encourage you, beloved, that you're going to have to make a choice. That's how you stay with it. That is how you keep the reset and the, and the life pattern that, that, that works best for you, that is most profitable for you. I know that, um, and sometimes it has to be reset just because life can get busy. Busyness can get the best of us. Things can happen. We can get off our daily routine. We can get sick. Kids can get sick. Things can change. Sometimes I travel for work and I've learned that I don't like to travel. I know a lot of people talk about traveling and they have a lot of blogs. And I, I well, let me see. I love to travel, but I love more. I enjoy more quiet days at the beach, going on hikes, um, eating at new restaurants in my own city. It might be because I live in Southern California, but I have learned that I don't like to do a lot of travel. I travel for work. I like to, I'm a, root, a person of routine. And so I like to not be in the wrong time zone because it gets too hard to get back in my right time zone. And I like to be able to wake up with Jesus and certain things, traveling or getting sick, doing different things throws me off. And so while a lot of people love to travel, I like a good routine. Although there are, I've heard that there are some books that can help you learn how to prepare for travel so that you can um, not so you can wake up on time on your regular time. But my point is choice. That you get to choose what you do, what you give your time and attention to. You, When you make decisions, when you say, I'm gonna watch that last show, I'm gonna stay on the phone and this can't wait, or I'm gonna eat that whatever, or I'm going to gossip. I'm going to talk about something. I'm going to be offended. I'm not going to forgive whatever choices that you are making um, or lack thereof affect your future. There's been choices that I've made that I regret, but God is so gracious and kind. He is so merciful. And I heard a woman of God say just the other day that mercy is kindness beyond what justice requires. God doesn't give us justice when he's merciful to us. And so when we make wrong choices, his mercy meets us in the middle of our mess. But you don't have to do that. You can choose what matters from the beginning and not live with regret. You don't have to look back and say you wasted time. The Bible calls us to redeem time. Paul said, redeem the time because the days are evil. 
But I'm saying that because redeem means to buy back every opportunity, to take opp every opportunity to walk out the will of the Lord. You redeem your time by choosing what matters. You redeem the day. You redeem the opportunities that God sets for you. You stay within your daily routine by choosing the things that are beneficial for you that are needed and necessary. And so that means a certain level of spiritual discipline that God wants you to offer that you can say no to things. Uh, choosing what matters means that you learn how to say no to things and not put more on your plate, not say yes to more things that God has more things than God has called you to do. Sometimes we say, yes, 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 yeah, yes, I'll do that. Yes, I'll serve here. And then you feel like you feel bad because you flip flop. But you have to go back. You have to learn how to have enough integrity, be courageous enough to say, you know what? I missed it. I said yes. And when I shouldn't have said yes, and I have to let that go so that I can choose what matters, whether it's serving, whether it's, you know, saying that you'll do something for a friend or a loved one, whether you're committing your time, you're making choices and you've, as we talked about, distracted, divided yourself, you distributed yourself too much. And then you realize that's what not what God is calling me to do in this season. And you say it with kindness and you say it with grace, but you say it with honesty because your choices, if you keep going in the wrong direction, I want to talk about repentance <laughs> and then I'm going to be done. I want to talk about repentance because I heard a man of God explain repentance this way. And it was such a beautiful explanation. He, um, or definition, um, or how can I say, uh, vision of how he put it he said you know uh, it's not just about repenting from your sins or asking for forgiveness or being sorry for your sins which we know that if you have a biblical definition but he said you know we say repentance is going the other way turning from one way changing your mind if you're going in one direction then you turn around and you go the other direction so i'm walking this way and when i repent i let go of the direction that i'm in and i start going the opposite direction, the right direction, not a direction that God hasn't called me, but the opposite to go in the right or opposite direction. But the reason that he brought, he added to it and said, because if you keep going the wrong way, you're going to end up in the wrong place. Your choices are lack of uh, affect your future. You're going to end up in the wrong place. But if you turn around, even now, even if it's too late, and begin to choose what matters to build your spiritual capacity by spending time with the Lord. If you want to exercise and work out, if you want to lose weight, keep on choosing the right thing and saying no to the wrong thing. If you need to go to sleep, keep on choosing what matters. And you're going to end up at the right destination, the thing that God has called you to do, the goal um, that you have set for yourself to achieve whatever it is if you choose it and you continue to choose it and continue to choose to do the right thing the thing that gets you closer to your goal and the thing that God called you to do then you will end up in the right location you will end up uh, with Jeremiah 9 says, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to give you an expected end, a hope and a future, a an intended, God's intention for you, his expected end is his intention for you before you were born. And so when we talk about just making a routine and yeah, I'm starting to do it and I'm, I have a plan to deal with my distractions and all that, God is saying you have to go further and you have to wrap your mind around making choices. One of the choices I make that is bad is I like sweets. And so I can eat healthy. I love green juice. I love salads. I love that. All those things. But if you put a cookie in front of me, it's a problem. I might eat it or a piece of candy. I like chewy candies like um, mambas and that type of thing. And um, I have to make a choice especially as I get older, not to eat that. And one of the things I have to do is just keep it out of my house. I don't have kids, so I have to keep those things out of my house. And that's something simple. Maybe you have bigger choices. Maybe it's between life and death. Maybe it's fornication. Maybe it's 
adultery. Maybe it's something that you're struggling with, a sin, a habit, a bad habit, a bad lifestyle that you're struggling with. And you have to make a choice and you have to keep on making it. And God is a God who can deliver you in an instant. But sometimes we have to work it out. Sometimes we have to exercise our choice to keep saying no. Even when we get delivered, we don't, we have to make a choice not to go back, not to put ourselves in the place where things so easily beset us. And so I just want to encourage you to continue to choose to choose what matters, um, to not grow weary in well-doing, because if you faint not, you shall reap in due season. So God bless you. Let me know if this blessed you in the comment. So let me know if this series has blessed you. Go back and watch the other videos. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and um, share it with somebody that you know and let me know what else you'd like to hear from. I hope you download the 28 Day Lifestyle Reset Workbook. God bless you until next time.